All right, so one last tutorial here. I want to be able to show how to do a query to be able to find out what types of software on each one of the clients. But some of the things that you need to do to be able to make that a successful query. One, any of the clients that you're going to scan. Now, this is can be done at nighttime, can be done when the computers are asleep during the day. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do all of them. You can just do a small group of computers to be able to do this query or the computers that you have selected or the task you have selected to be able to get these updated or remove old pieces of software. But in my case, I only have the five. So what I need to do right off the bat is I need to inventory all of these and update. I'm going to look for which one of these computers, this could be Java, could be any type of version of software, but in this case, I'm going to look for which one has 7-zip on it. So I'm going to right click on all of them. First, I'm going to highlight them all. I'm going to right click on it and I want to go to inventory or scan inventory and I want to do hardware and software and what I want to do is this is going to update Landesk at what type of software is on each one of them and I'm going to go ahead and pause this while it's scanning it all right that looks like it took about 51 seconds one of them took like it took about a minute to do it which is really decently so it updated so it has a current update of all the software that's on each one of the machines so now being that the fact that i need to get the correct query i'm going to try it two ways first i'm going to try to just say seven zip in the query and see if it'll try to find as close as it but i may need to get exactly what the name is but it offers this way to do it so what that does is that means that you could write, I'm sorry, you could double click on it and you can actually come down and see what kind of software is on this particular machine and we can look at whatever program or applications that are on here. We can kind of thumb through it really quick and we can see what type of software is installed on this. Um, oh yeah, I see it, it's right here. So what I'm gonna try to do without doing this is one with a description of it, I'm gonna try to just type in the first part of this so that I can query whatever type of software that's on there. So. That way, if you're looking for a computer name or something close to this, you're going to be able to find it on the setup. So it kind of makes it no fun if I'm going to just do it real easy. So, all right. So let's come down here. So inside of this view, which is the network view over here on the left-hand side, I want to come down here to My Queries. I want to right-click on it. And then I want to select New Query. Then we can name this one. I want to look for 7-Zip. Now, the name here has nothing to do with searching for it. Okay, it's just to be able to make the human component a little bit easier. I'm going to come down here to software. Uh, just by the way, this thing is going to work. It's, I'm going to end up having to do it anyway, so that's all right. Let's come down here. Software is right there. Let's open it up. Go to the packages name and it just happens to be right there so um if i want to be able to try to get most of the versions i believe this will work if i do this so just to try to get most of them get them in there maybe i might have to put a wild card in this as well but we'll have to look up how that wild card works so let's go ahead and save this query and now i should be able to run this against all of the machines that are currently in the database let's run it See if it finds anything. So it didn't find anything because it did have to be specific to that exact location. So let's see if I can edit this. Edit that query. Oh yeah, I can delete it. So I'll go back here to make it exactly the way it is. Probably equal to, less than or equal to. Well, it could be one of these steps could do it. Eh, it kind of depends. I'd have to try it out here just to see. Let's go back to software. And this is kind of taking the fun out of it because, of course, you know that it is right here. To be equal to. Mm, I did two of them in here. I wonder why I did that. Yeah, there it goes. It's just one. Let's save it. Let's go ahead and run it. And it did find that one specifically. Let's see how far we can narrow that down. Let's see if I can just do, for example, can I manually edit this? Looks like I can right here. What if I took away just this portion of it? 
Oh, so it's going to make me clear it to do that. See if we can still find it from that. Insert. Save. And let's run the query again. No, it has to be exact. So obviously it has to be exactly that verse. So if you're searching for it, it does have to be exact. So that's fine. I mean, you're going to have to have it on the network anyways. It's going to have to be updated. So that's kind of normal, I guess, for this. So if I went back in here and I updated this, just software, client ID, program, and I want to call it out by name. And then I want to add it. So I wonder if uh, I wonder if this expression will work less than or equal to. Hmm. Let's see what else we got in here. Hmm. I guess we could do like that. Probably would find it if I did this. So let's let's try that. See, did I? I don't know if I updated that. I did I don't know. Let's take a look here real quick. Oh, it didn't update. That's why it didn't work. Let's go back to the drawing board here real quick. Software. Uh, real quick. Software. Add remove programs. Name. 7-zip. And I want to do like 7-zip. And I should be able to get rid of this since I'm doing a like command. Probably should get rid of that too. Let's see if it'll work. Hmm, I did two of them here. So what happens if I save that like that? It did find it. So it will accept, when you use the like command, it will accept some small amounts to it. So let's see, just to make sure here really quick. Yeah, yeah, it did. So if I even, I wonder if it even would find it if I just took off this much right here as well. If I just said, okay, whatever is seven in it, huh? Update. Save. Sure does. So that's the way to do it. So it's using the like command. We'll be able to find the ones that you want. So you know that only client number seven or client number one is the only one that has seven zip on it. So if I look on here, here's seven zip. And it is only on this client one, just so you can see this really quick. Computers, system. And you can tell this is client one is the only one that it has it on. So, awesome. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye now.